Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this brand new A Revolution palette. So this is from the Precious Stone range. So this is the ruby one. So this is like a glitter on the front and it's kind of, it's rough. I was expecting it to be smooth, but it's not. So there are a couple of palettes in this range. So this is the first one. This is ruby. I have ordered one of the other palettes, but it hasn't arrived yet. So I have ordered the diamond one, which is the grey toned one, which I can do a video on as well. So I got mine from Superdrug. I think they were released like yesterday and I got it delivered to store today, which was really quick from Superdrug. It was £10. So Superdrug at the time that I ordered only had this one and the emerald one. So they've not got the full range that Revolution have got as well. These also are in stock on Ulta Beauty in the US. So yeah, I've got a lot of Revolution palettes either coming to me or I've just got some new palettes. So stay tuned for them because I'm going to be doing a lot of videos lately. Um, if my eyebrows look a little bit bold, it's because I've just had them freshly microbladed. So I've got to be careful not to go too close to them. So I won't be putting the eyeshadow quite high up just because they're still in the healing process at the moment. So yeah, we're going to play with this eyeshadow palette today and then let's see what we think. Okay, so as usual, if you watch any of my videos, you'll know that I do use the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas on my eyes just to prime. And I'm going a bit old school today because I haven't done this in so long. I've just put a little bit of tape um, on my eyes just to make the eyeshadow nice and sharp. Okay, so we are nice and zoomed in. So this is our palette. I think I'm going to go in with Classy to start off. And I'm just going to put that in the crease. colour on. I think it looks really nice but my tape is falling off a little bit. I think I'm going to go into Princess next, that really nice pinky colour. loving the pigment on this palette I don't know like if it's different or if I'm applying it different or what or if it's different brushes because these are new brushes these are by Hank and Henry these were like in the beauty bay sale for like two three pounds they were and they're really good as well um but yeah this palette's like really good so far I'm just gonna put a bit with that classy um back on the top of my brows because I've just lost a little bit through blending but I'm just gonna put a bit more just so we can see the orange again next color I'm just gonna go into date night which is more of like a raspberry pinky shade so not too dissimilar from that pink but I'm just gonna darken up the crease like the outer crease with it the outer V um, I don't know whether it's gonna make a massive difference because that is the darkest color in the palette and it is still quite similar to that other one but we'll give it a go a really good pigment on there on there and it actually does make a difference and I have just recut my crease again and then I'm going to play with one of these middle shades and I kind of I don't know what they are because they were they had some shades like this in the Kami palette but they were more like lid toppers they weren't actual eyeshadows so let's have a little swatch oh now that one yeah it doesn't look as nice when it's swatched so I think these are just lid toppers they look really nice on the finger but then when you swatch them there's not a lot there so that looks beautiful oh okay that one's got the most pigment in it oh that's a shame because I wanted to use that first one um, like as a lid shade oh what a shame oh that's that white how pretty yeah so they must just be shadow toppers you know what, I'm actually just going to go for it and I'm going to use that shade buff. That's the one I wanted to use. I'm just going to try putting it on the lid and then see what happens with it. And um, see whether we can make like a, you know, a decent eye look with it.
that shade on the lid. Can you see it? <laughs> um, so it is a nice shadow when it's on, like it has the intensity that I want. I'm like trying to find a really good angle so it like shines for you. So yeah, it's really nice once it's on the lid. It's just I have to use my finger with it and I hate using my fingers for eyeshadows just because I have acrylics on and I can't get right in, in my, the corner of my eye. So I can't get it as precise as I would want. Um, I am just going to put a little bit of princess on the join between the two eyeshadows now just to blur it out a little bit. Okay so I have just put some liner on as well and I'm just putting some more shape tape back on because um, it like messed it up when I took the tape off so it's definitely best to put the tape on before you put a base on. <laughs> So I'm just going to go into this dreamy kind of mauve shade and just put that under my eyes on my lower lash line. We are nearly done. I wanted to use this colour on my inner corner because it's really sparkly and pretty. I'm just not sure how to go about it because they're best used with a finger but I can't get in there. So I'm just going to try it with this tiny brush and just see what I can do. to do it and that inner corner is really popping now however I've kind of messed up the shade to do it so these like are a different kind of consistency they're not exactly like the Colourpop kind of creamy kind of eyeshadows but yet they're not I don't know they're not they're not as fluid as that but they're not like a typical pressed eyeshadow so yeah just proceed with caution with those okay so this is the final look and I am quite happy with it and how it's turned out the palette actually performed really nicely these shades in the middle I think I'll need to play around with them the mattes were really nice very pigmented I've just realized though I've not swatched any of the shimmers in the palette so let's just have a little kind of mess around with them so there's a gold shade there's like a pinky shade there's another kind of champagne color okay so they are them swatch so they're not as pigmented as say like the mattes but I would definitely say they are something that you could wear on a daily basis. So all in all, I do like this palette. I like the look that I've created. And obviously, I love pink eyeshadow. So it's very up my street. I do have a lot more eyeshadow palettes coming from Makeup Revolution soon. So there will be a lot more videos. So stay tuned for those. And I will see you again shortly. Bye.